what is up boys we are back here with another 2023 collector tin uh we're gonna be opening up six of these tins and see what we can do the reason being konami has not been releasing too many uh products and it, it sucks for us openers over here because the old school stuff is pretty damn expensive and then there's of course nothing new because they went on like a two and a half month hiatus of no products and then the latest product that they did go and release, Legacy of Destruction, is kind of hard to find in stores. So, anyways, let's see what we can pull in these tins. Also, I mean, they do have quarter century rares, which people always like. And the some of the um, prismatic secrets are actually doing pretty well on the market. So, we'll see if we can profit, maybe, a little bit. But I kind of doubt it. Anyway, so our first QCR is Salomon Great Blaze Dragon. That's awesome. Not my favorite, but uh, it'll do, I suppose. All right, so as far as expensive cards, the steals, there's two B steel cards that are pretty expensive. And then uh, ca Cash Money is still Cash Money, in particular Fenrir. So we'll see if we can pull any of those. But I, I believe it's like one per case uh pull rate wise for those cards so again we will see but i i'm not feeling too confident we got branded regained shark drake vice uh samsara sorrow cat nice dictator of day hell yeah exo sister packs and okay that i mean that's a cash money card but not the money card uh although might might actually see some price increases because if people are going to still be playing cash tier what's interesting about this right before i even talk about if people play cash tier or cash, cash tier or not a lot of the archetypes that are in this tin people are still playing and interested in uh so konami hasn't found a way to get people away from these archetypes could it be that the archetypes are just too good i, I think there's a little bit to that but i think people just find the archetypes fun and uh, the newer archetypes, not as fun. So, Ariane and Rite of Aramisir. Rite of Aramisir would have been a better pull, but it was reprinted twice in a very short time uh, last year. So, it's not uh, it's not that good of a pull. But, uh, yeah, I, I do feel like people are having fun with Cash Tira and be steals and that's why the cards are going up. That and also lack of reprints, uh, which is good for the tins in my opinion, but over Fusion, hell yeah, this is one of the few Neos cards from Power of the Elements that we got, and I'm I'm sad we didn't get Favorite Contact or Shiny Neos, but I think we're gonna, we might see them in the next 10 coming up here in 2024, because we were told that Power of the Elements is going to be reprinted in that set too, for some reason, and anyway, so yeah, just a little, uh, ooh, Magnum Hut. This would have been a better pull as well, but it's a hit on the ban list. It's not one of the uh, more expensive Beasteals. Blue Eyes Jetto Dragon, though, has been creeping up in price, and I told you guys to pick this up when it was 3 bucks. That was around $5. It's still not too expensive, but I warned you guys. All right, second 10. Our QCR is Fire Emblem Dragon. Fire Emblem Dragon ain't that good either, in my opinion. The t my top three, have ha well, uh, well, we'll go with top five, maybe. So, Dark Magician, Stardust, uh, in no particular order. Black, Black Wing, Black something Dragon, the Signer Girls uh, Dragon, and uh, Neos, and then Cyber Dragon. Again, in no particular order, but those cards are probably going to be the more expensive ones, given some time. But, uh, anyways, let me know what your top five are from this set. Crosskeeper, hell yeah. Should have been a higher rarity, in my opinion, but uh, what are you going to do? Opal Head, Runic Destruction, Pistil, Tryhard, Scareclaws, if they see more support, might actually be pretty uh, good pickups from this set as well. But we got a Sudri, the Phantom, Glimmer as well there. Hell yeah. Now, if you're confused why we're getting two Prismatic Secret Rares... Uh, that's what that's the shtick in this pack. They increased the number of uh, prismatic secret rares, which is good. But now with the 2024 tins, they're uh, gonna reduce the the number back to to one. So it kind of sucks. They should they should really just stick with uh, with two per pack. But uh, 
We got Griffin Rider, Dynamorphia Domain, a nice Magic Karibo. Not expensive in any way, but it's it's a really cute card. So, uh, nonetheless, it's pretty decent pull in my opinion. All right, we haven't seen anything too crazy besides the Jetto Dragon being like a five dollar card. So let's see. By the way, this is why I usually stay away from Megatons and Mega Packs because you get so much absolute crap and spellbound isn't bad uh I, I think people just haven't really been playing it for whatever reason and they use machinex and beyond the pendulum nice if pendulum decks ever do something though that might be a pretty good pickup um but yeah there's just so much crap man look at all these commons that are valueless and we've only opened up two of these tins all right third tin coming in hot and a promo is hell yeah black black rose dragon that's the name of the girl. This one has, uh, it's been going up slightly in value. And so it has Ruddy Rose, by the way. So if you guys haven't picked Ruddy Rose up, I'd recommend it. Um, or the QCR Black Rose as well. Or the Stardust Dragon. Or really any of the top five I mentioned. Because those, those cards are going to go up in value. I, I promise you. Uh, we got Twin Shadow, Baku, Dinomorphia, Brute. Oh yeah, brute force all the way. Dogmata, Merturia, or something like that. Dinomorphia, Frenzy, Time Thief, Power Reserve. That, that might be a new card. Overfusion, hell yeah. Unicorn, another cash money baby. And then Labyrinth Servant. Might you know? Speaking of value, people are still playing uh, Labyrinth and interested in Labyrinth, so. Might also be a good pickup. Runic as well. Some Runic cards in here are pretty damn cheap. So there is definitely some investment potential in this set. It's just uh, maybe opening up sealed for this particular set and maybe all Mega Packs in general. Uh, just don't do it. <laughs> Let the degenerate gamblers on YouTube, like myself, do it. And you guys just buy the singles. Black Winged Assault Dragon. Pretty damn decent pull. About three bucks. And Muckcracker from the Underworld. Hmm. I believe it was going up in value a while ago, but I don't think uh, I don't think recently has done much. So, nonetheless, a pretty decent pull. I mean, it's a good card. It's just not play being played, right? And that's really the synopsis of the set. Like, there's good cards, but are they getting played? Besides Cash Tira, Be Steel, and maybe Runix, maybe not. Oh, or, or Labyrinth, I guess. But. Uh, Okay, so we got Catalyzer, Odd Eyes Pendulum, Dragon, and Ethereum Disc Coliseum. Hey, there we go. That's about 19, 18 to 20 bucks. So that is definitely the card to beat currently. And one, I mean, it's more expensive than even QCRs, actually. All right, fourth 10, fourth promo is another Blaze Dragon. I might read its effect later on because i'm like what the hell does it do um wasn't salomon great also used by the main protagonist so did did uh the sixth season of Yu-Gi-Oh or series did the main protagonist get uh qcrs from his deck because uh, i don't think that happened for all the other series 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 <laughs> exosister uh Ge gebrain Therian bowl Samsirian, Sarah's cat, Dictator of Day, Exos Exosister Stella, a Huggin. This card is pretty cheap, but a pretty decent card nonetheless. I, I think a lot of these card prices will either drop or increase depending on what's reprinted in the Rarity Collection as well. That's coming up at the end of this month. Uh, so I think, yeah, because after that, what, what, what other reprint sets are there going to be, right? Uh, that have been announced besides the 2024 10 and there's not that many oh wait hang on um uh what's it called B battles of legend but uh, we got king of regulus exosister michaelis and yeah i mean you see then that's what i'm talking about those two cards are actually pretty decent pulls it's just like are they being played and, and the answer to that is unfortunately no um at least not right now so given the right format the this uh these cards a lot of these cards are pretty damn good it's just unfortunate that uh the format that we have right now is kind of 
I don't think people have decided what's good in this format, to be honest, since the new ban list, but uh, another overfusion. Hell yeah, I'll take that. We got Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle and the Zombie Vampire. These two, two decent pulls again. Not bad. All right, fifth promo, Dark Magician maybe, or Stardust. Red Eyes. Okay, I, I've had few Red Eyes pulls, so actually I will, I will take that one. I will take that one. Let's open this one up, actually, because... Uh, yeah, I think I've only pulled two to three, and I've pulled about five Dark Magicians, but this one's pretty horribly centered right there, unfortunately. But uh, nonetheless, Red Eyes with the OG art, man. I will take that any any day. All right, so what is the fifth bliss, fifth uh, Mega Pack, or uh, tin, I should say, have in store for us? Try to plant... Something or other. Branded Loss. Soul Scissor. They'd be scissoring and she. Alright, Lady Labyrinth of the Silver Castle. Wasn't that the last pull too? Yeah, what the heck. Back to back. And Black Winged Assault Dragon. This card was being bought out, by the way, somewhat recently. About like two, between two and one month ago. And I don't understand why. Uh, the effect is pretty decent. Is it generic though? Uh, tuner. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I thought I thought you needed the OG, uh, black winged for that one, but it seems like you do not. So maybe that is why people are playing it. Because again, the, the effect is pretty decent. It's pretty decent. Uh, Dynamorphia Kentrigina. All right. Amazonus Augusta. Uh, Magic Core Warrior of the Relics and Muckcracker of the Underworld and a lovely Labyrinth of the Silver. Wait, hang on. Did we just pull that three times? Relatively recent? Uh, no, because I, I know these uh, these waifu bitches look basically identical. And me not being into the waifus, they just... I have face blindness, man. For sure. Alright, so Ice Jade Erosion. Uh, Digit Jamming Labyrinth. I was going to say... I was going to say something else, actually. Oh man, okay, we're just gonna breeze right through that one. Exosister Esophil, uh, Nateria Camellia, uh, Nateria Blessing, and Illegal Knight. <laughs> That's a weird ass name. Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. I don't think it's doing too much, but it's pretty cool seeing this card in, in a really shiny foiling there. And okay, back to back DM. Tamayas the United. Dragon. Oh boy. Okay. Yugi and Kaiba's cards really got uh, some shine in this uh, tin. All right, guys. Last tin. Can we do something great? I'll take it. I'll take it. I haven't pulled that many Black Rose Dragons either, so it's definitely worth, uh, on my side at least. Also, one of the Black. Dude, there's a, a lot of cardboard dust. That is crazy. That is crazy. All right. So let's see. I mean, this one's pretty horribly centered, too. Are, are all these just coming horribly centered? I'm not going to grade them. I'm just saying, like, what was going on in Konami's uh, HQ, you know what I'm saying? But this one looks pretty nice. But I was going to say, I, I pulled a Black Rose Dragon that was horribly damaged. So definitely pulling uh, a couple more Black Rose Dragons is uh, all right in my book. You know, that aren't horribly damaged. I'll take horribly centered over horribly damaged out of the box any day of the week. Uh, so we got Sunlit Sentinel, Exorcister Armin, Cash Tier of Preparations, Maple Maiden, and Primitive Planet uh, Rykphobia, and a Majesty Pegasus, the Draco Slayer. This is one of the weirdest uh, uh, secret rares, in my opinion. They could have made some of uh, Neo's cards a little bit higher rarity instead of that, you know, but what are you going to do? Tits sell, I guess. Um... Not so much in that case, though. Black Shadow Squall. K Kaguri. K Kijuro the Cannon Ninja. Triple D's. Hell yeah. La Laughing Poofin. Scatter Fusion. Black Wing Zonda the Dusk. Exosister Ellis. And Borea. Okay, so, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. This, these six tins, besides maybe the QCRs, because we did get two Black Rose Dragons, ain't it i feel like we're a little bit light on uh, on some of the uh, higher higher value prismatic secrets but uh i don't know i'll let you guys decide on that one um so we got ken how do you say your name ken 
Trigina, Kentrigina, Castile, Coverture, Pendle, Pendle Graph, Dragon, Vision with the Eyes of Blue, and Beyond the Pendulum. So we only pulled uh, one high value card, in my opinion, in that was in a promo at least, in the form of Bastille Lubion. And then I think the second highest value card was Blue Eyes Jetto Dragon at about $20 and about five bucks. So $25 in, in a higher value. I'd say this is a pretty, well, I, I, I'll let you guys decide because you can buy um, 12 tins online for $140. So $140 divided by two, $80. Definitely didn't make $80, I don't think, in this haul. But I'll let you guys decide if $80 was worth all of this haul, essentially. Anyways, catch you guys in the next one.